In this video, I would like to show you how to build a competition robot and tell you how we reach the construction used in the videos. Surely, it isn't perfect, but it's a good start. Many times I have heard this question. Why does the robot end up in different position after each run? Well, there are many reasons for that, like the different starting position, the wheel slip, or the bed construction. Today we will focus on the last one. First, I will begin with giving definition of center of mass. For the purpose of this lesson, we will refer to it as the point where if you put your finger, the robot will stay in balance, as on this picture taken from wikipedia.org. More precise definitions you can find in the links below. One will ask why we begin with this. Well, there are two reasons. The first one is that to be stable during turns, the center of mass must be as low as possible. And the second one is that the center of mass must be on the same vertical axis as the center of the points of the robot, which touch the ground. By this, the weight of the robot is distributed equally. Next, it is very important to choose the right type of back wheels. They must have a little friction during turns so that the robot turns easily. Then we need a small base construction because of the many mission models on the field. Last, I would like to point out another common problem. Usually the students begin with solving one of the missions and build construction for solving this mission. After they solve it, they see that the construction is not appropriate for solving the next mission. So they change the construction. By doing that, the program they made for the first mission doesn't work anymore and they get stuck in a vicious circle. To avoid this, you must keep in mind all of the missions during construction of the base and don't change it afterwards. So we reach the following two conclusions. Keep in mind all of the missions and do not change the base. So let's sum up the conclusions we have made so far. First, we need the center of mass of the robot to be as low as possible and to be on the same vertical axis as the center of the pivot points. We have to choose the right type of back wheels so that they have a little friction. We need to make a small base construction and keep in mind all of the missions during constructing so that we don't need to change the base after we finish. Now let's take a look at uh, the robot. The first point was that the center of mass must be as low as possible. We have uh, accomplished that by choosing the small tires and making a relatively short construction, which is though only something like 15 centimeters. Uh, next, we say that the center of mass must be on the same vertical axis as the center of the pivot points. After you build the robot, you can easily see that the center of mass of the robot is somewhere on this axis, where it's exactly the center of the four pivot points. Uh, next, we have chosen uh, these parts from the Mindstorm set for back wheels because they have really little friction and the robot uh, turns easily with them. Uh, we have made the small base construction and we have optimized the space in it so that there isn't any empty space. And we have uh, kept in mind several things. The first one was that uh, at some point you need light sensors. So we have put them in the base construction with uh, this part in front of them for making shadow and also for alignment on the border walls. Next, we have this third motor incorporated in the body of the robot and transmitted the motion using these gears so that uh, you can uh, put the attachments in here and uh, have uh, the motion for, for them. Uh, by doing this, we actually don't need to change the base construction uh, during the work on the missions. The next thing about the robot is that uh, it is modular 
and it's easily disassembled into five or six mod uh, simple modules. Uh, the first part is the back wheels, like this. Next, we can detach the two motors. this. Uh, now we can touch the third motor with the light sensors. Like this. And finally, uh, it's the brick with these parts, which are easily disassembled from the brick, as you can see. Like this. You can take them and from the other side also this and this and we have the six models of the robot the instructions from for the modules you can find under this video as well as the instructions for the whole robot